Hi, I'm Mark and I work for Sungevity. I'm going to show you the recommended tooling for RJ45 Cat5e 568B wiring that we would use to do monitoring. This is Sungevity standard. It's also an industry standard. So every Cat5 cable should be wired this way for data purposes, no matter which industry you're in. This is the Sungevity Cat5 wiring tutorial and we'll be uh, wiring up Cat5 cable using simple materials we have here and we'll be using the um, 568B wiring protocol. There are two wiring protocols, one's A, one's B. Look up B, we'll provide a chart for that as well. So these are the basic tools you need. Uh, it's a simple network toolkit. As you can see, this is the one we're using. It has some fairly simple tools. Comes with a crimp tool, uh, which will, which will help you terminate the RJ45 connectors. There are also various cutting tools that come in this kit, which will help you trim the Cat5e and Cat6 cable. And a punch down tool, which will help you terminate panel mounted connections. And we'll go over that later. But these are connections that might fit in a wall mount unit such as this. These might interface inside of a client's home the same way an electrical outlet will, except for it's Cat5e cabling. The whole outlet has to be rated for Cat5e to be contiguous and Cat5 throughout the whole system. This is the Cat5e cable. It's easily cut with the tool provided. You can use any tool that will cut it. Be careful not to cut into the housing. I like to, you're recommended to cut a quarter of an inch off. I like to take at least an inch off because we'll trim it up later and get it nice and smooth. A few simple twists. The outer sheath is removed. Inspect your cables. Inspect the, the twisted pairs inside. There's four twisted pairs. Inspect to make sure that you haven't nicked any of these interior cables. You want to make sure that you don't because you want to retain the data integrity. There is a fiberglass core in here that you can remove. It's not essential that you remove it, but you can. It needs to up. Cat5e cable is comprised of four twisted pairs. They're orange and orange-white, blue and blue-white, brown and brown-white, green and green-white. The first thing you want to do is begin untwisting these. Untwist them right to the base, but no further. You really can't untwist them any further. Flatten them out as you go. You want them as flat as possible. It takes a little doing with big fingers. Then it's as simple as getting them in the proper order. The wiring protocol that we follow is called 568-B wiring. There's various protocols for Cat5 cable. There's 56A. 56B and pass through cables. We're going to use 568-B exclusively. So we'll provide a, a chart for that, for the exact pinouts, but they are essentially one, the first is orange white, the second is orange. And don't be afraid to manhandle these a little bit. The third is green-white. You'd think the fourth is green, but it isn't. It's solid blue. The fifth wire we want is white-blue, or blue-white. Number six is green. Number seven is brown-white. And number eight, the final one, is brown. This is the order we want to insert into the RJ45 connector. Feel free to smooth them out, get them as straight as possible, and bring them all in tight. I had you make this an inch long because it's easier to manipulate these small wires. But we don't want to insert a full inch into the connector because it's messy. And also, after you have it about a third of an inch long, you start to lose data integrity. The twists in the cable are essential to data integrity. So if you've untwisted too much cable, 
you might have sing signal issues. So I've just manhandled these cables into position. And I'm going to reserve about a third of an inch, quarter inch to a third of an inch. As you get better at it, you can make these shorter and shorter. And I'm going to use standard household scissors. There is a blade on the tool, but I find the household scissors give me a straight line. It's a nice, perfect straight line. Don't cut it in an angle. It won't help you insert it better. This is actually the best way to insert it into the RJ45 connector. You know, I've reconfirmed the proper order. I'm going to tab side down, and I'm going to begin inserting. Watch them as they go in. Make sure none cross over the other. And you want to insert it all the way to the end until it stops. You see I've maintained the order of the, of the wires and check it against your diagram continually. Make sure that the ends of all of them have all the way in. And now we go to our crimp tool. The crimp tool has two openings, one for an RJ45 and one for an RJ11. The RJ11 is standard telephone cable. The RJ45 is data connection. There's a slot for the tab, and it only inserts one way. You can't do it wrong. Insert it all the way in and compress. Most of these tools are ratcheted, so you won't be able to do it too softly. It won't release until it's properly crimped all the way. That's it. Test your connection. Pull on it a little bit. Make sure it's in there firmly. Double check your color coding. And you've got a properly made RJ45 Cat5E 568B wire. We've completed both ends. And we'll move on to testing this before we install it.